In an earlier exercise, we created an advanced XSLT transform in order to assign default value if a consumer did not provide any values for our context items. This is a very useful XSLT and we want to share this among the team members as well as different environments. Let's see in Developer Studio how we can import and export XPath XSLT expressions. In order for us to successfully share XSLT with our team members, we first want to review the XSLT and verify that it's working properly. Open up the advanced XSLT editor, make sure that your context item properly loaded and your sample data review the output and then save the transform in your workspace. We have on the file system a folder structure that contains information in regards to XSLT templates, XML templates, as well as XPath templates. We saved this template in our workspace and can now create a new module where we follow the same principle as the prior exercise with assigning default values if the consumer did not provide any information. For your benefit, we are creating the workflow from scratch. Now open up the advanced transform editor for the new context item and load the template assign default if empty assign tokens if we have to. Tokens can be added at any point in time and you can modify the loaded XSLT and save it as a new XSLT as well. Provide a sample value in our token. Click on the preview and verify that the XSLT is working properly. And now we can execute this workflow and make sure that everything works, works as planned.